welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing a video of dressage advice. So what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be explaining and telling you guys about like all the advice you need for being good at dressage. You need to at least be able to watch this video entirely for you to get all the advice you can. Now, let's go ahead and get right to this video without any further explanation. So, I'm here in the new riding arena. Now, another, so the first very big thing is timing. Timing is very important in dressage. So, when your instructor says, like, curl set, pre, go go on go do not wait for other people it's because if you wait then in like it looks like you're perfect on your screen and you're like in line and everyone's in sync then on the instructor's screen it will be where you are late instead of early early and so for them it doesn't look perfect because there's such thing as screen delay where if you are actually ahead of another person on their screen you're behind them so that's a thing so when you do it try to be early on your screen instead of actually like waiting on other people because i mean you may be like at least like two seconds early it doesn't uh, but it's all right because then you may be in sync with other players on the other person oh on the other person's screen now, I do not have anyone here with me, and so I have no demonstrations, so um, that's kind of sad. Oh my gosh. It's literally pouring outside my window. Oh my gosh. It never rains a lot. Well, it, well it's monsoon season for us, so yeah, it's raining. Okay, so the next advice, as in advice number two, you should always listen to your instructor and like if they say um like if you're behind someone and someone is behind you and like 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 i will use mia me and france as an example so imagine if um france is behind me and she's like getting she's like faster than me and or like maybe she's not faster than me on my screen but on the instructor's screen she's faster so they might say france and winter switch you have to switch no arguments because maybe you will be running into the person in front of you but if you absolutely have to pass the person in front of you ask if you can because if you are running into people and, and like making clumps then the other person's screens may mess up because then it'll make the line look bad now advice number three always try to keep the gaps in the e spacings even so like if there's some gaps then go ahead and slow down or speed up to keep the gaps even like, what if your NTT knows the tail? Perfect. But if you have some gaps, like a horse length, then go ahead and slow down and even all of the gaps. So they're at least even. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you have gaps, but try to, like, make them even and spaced out. And so, like, in the front, there's such a big gap, but in the back, there's, like, no gaps. And so you don't want the line to look like it's all messed up and people don't know what they're doing. And so that's a major thing. And make sure that don't try to cut the corner corners. But if there is a big space, then go ahead and cut the corners for you to just keep the spacing. Now, spacing is a big important thing when you're doing a circle. And so if there's multiple people, some people run into each other and pass each other and mess up the order. And sometimes there's a just giant opening and like where like three people can line up there, easily fill in that spot. But if there's a giant opening, slow down. Slow down and make sure that opening isn't there and even the gaps. 
because if there is an opening, then that'll just take another point from competitions because you want your line to not, or in like compet competitors, not to only be skilled, you also want them to look like what they are. Like, for instance, if you try to like, if you're in a competition and you want your line to look perfect and spotless with no flaws, then go ahead and have like, maybe for a practice, go ahead and try doing like one session. Like I know some people do their dressage lessons in like sessions, like one session warm up, second session work on flaws, and then third section like, like a learning. And so on that sex second section, then go ahead and have them work on gaps and timing because those are two major things. Now, advance, advanced <laughs> advice number four. I think four. Maybe? Eh, I don't know. Well, you know, whatever. I'm going to do four. So, advance. Why do I keep saying advance? So, advice number four. If you are owning a club and you have dressage lessons, make sure that everyone knows moves. Like, maybe try to do a <clears throat> lesson of beginner. And so everyone in beginner level or more, they'll be able to either be refreshed or taught beginner. And for maybe the first couple practices after you make a club, make sure that you start at the beginning and every time you say like orbit curl make sure in parentheses you say what the curl is like orbit curl parentheses walk curl comma canter curl and in parentheses just like that so the purse so the people know what an orbit curl is or like like asteroid or like galaxy and like at least have some explanation ex explanation next to the like command and so that's a good thing and like work your way up when you do practices so when you like start with beginner and warm up and then like gradually get better until you're elite level and then you will start doing combined lessons and club comps and actual competitions and maybe we'll get into the star stable dressage website I've heard those clubs are amazingly advanced and amazing, so that is actually a really good thing. Now, advice number five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just in a really good mood today, and I'm usually not in a good mood. Rainy days are like, oh my, oh my gosh, it's literally pouring so hard outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be quiet to see if you guys can hear it, all right? Oh, that is my alarm. All right, so I guess those are all the advice things I have because I'm kind of running out of time and also that's all I can really think of. So those are four great high-end advice. if. And also make sure to subscribe and like this video and I hope you liked it if you did you know I'm just gonna read it okay start over okay so I'm gonna end this video right here hope you liked it if you did make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye